What I'm going to do today is review a recent email that I sent out to all the coaches on the email list, and this is something that was really helpful. And this is a story, this happened in, it was like right around 2011. So I had already started my business. At that point, I was training a lot of kids. I was getting paid cash and checks, like how most coaches do, and I don't want you to keep doing that <laughs> if you are, and I'll show you why in the story. But back then, I used to go out to this big open park, and I'd show up there, the kids would meet me basically every hour, and the, the parents, when they would show up, they would drive their car, like kind of close to where the grass was, and I would meet them, and they'd roll down the window, and they would pay me, right? So they would just roll down the window and pay me. And then I would take the money, and I'd go stuff it inside my backpack, <laughs> and I'd zip it up, and then I'd do the session. This is like a routine thing for me. Every single session, I do that. And what happened was I started working with this, these four kids, and they had a dad who was very wealthy. And he had a really nice Range Rover. And I remember the first time I met them, I was like, wow, like this guy's really loaded. <laughs> this is gonna be a great client. That's how I was thinking. And these four kids come out of the car. These kids are great to work with. I really like working with them. But I remember the first conversation I had with, with the dad. And he was like, hey, um, I'm gonna pay you, but it's gonna be like in a couple weeks. Is that cool? And in my head, I was like, yeah, this guy's rich. Uh, course he's going to pay. And I was like, yes, for sure. And back then I had a little snowflake mentality. I used to let parents tell me whatever they wanted to do. That's what I would do. If he told me he was going to pay me in three years from now, I'd be like, oh yeah, that, that sounds good. <laughs> right. And what happened was after that first conversation, I trained their kids, went really well. They went back home. The next session came, didn't pay me. And he was like, Hey, like I'm going to pay you coming up. Um, I promise, just don't worry about it. And I kept doing sessions. Same thing kept happening. I didn't call him, I didn't text him, I didn't hunt him down. He just kept doing that over and over and over again. And it happened for a couple months and then he finally paid. And then once he paid, I was like, all right, we're good, we're good. Like, and then I just kept training them. I didn't say after that conversation, hey, we're gonna do it this way where you need to pay me every session, right? And back then I knew nothing about business, so I just was happy that he paid me, okay? And what happened though was that cycle continued for months, and I'm talking about like six to nine months, and it got to a point where he owed me so much money, and it was group training for four boys, he owed me so much money that when I would show up to the session, I was just pissed off. I was like, man, like why hasn't he paid? But at the end of the day, it was me. It was my fault because I never set the tone with him. I never told him to do it a different way. I just let him do whatever the heck he wanted. And it got so bad towards the end where when I showed up to the sessions, it was just like, I, I couldn't care. I, I just didn't care about it because I was like, I'm doing this for free. This guy's taking advantage of me. And what happened was I, the, the next time I saw them, I talked to the dad. I was like, please bring the money next time. And I was very upfront with him. And at this point, he owed me a couple grand. And once he, he drove off with, with his kids, that was the last time I saw him. Never saw him again. He like blocked my number, didn't pay me, never saw his kids again. And I tell you this story because that happened to me multiple times with multiple parents. And that's because I was getting paid cash and check. That's because I had zero expectations. I had zero standards. And ultimately it was my fault, but I was attracting terrible clients. And the only person who's attracting those clients was me, right? That was because I was weak at marketing. I was weak at communication, had zero sales process the way I have set up now, right? And all of these bad clients were coming into my life and a lot of them owed me thousands of dollars. Well, I'm still owe me thousands of dollars, <laughs> right? And that's, again, my responsibility. And I want you to take, what I want you to take from this story is look at your own business. Are you running it like a hobby or are you running this like a well-oiled machine where you're not collecting cash, there's parents who don't owe you money, there's not parents who show up late. Like it's a well-oiled machine. And if you want to run your business that way, I want you to click on this button up here. It's gonna take you to an information page about our mastermind program 
This is the best possible way I can help you and a group of coaches who are serious about crushing it in 2019. All right, so go ahead and click on that button there. If you have any questions, comment below, and I'd love to help you out. See you later. Thank <music> you.